Good morning. It's probably about 3.30 in the morning, and for those of you who know me know I'm not a night person. I am a morning person, but this was a morning where I just was laying in bed and just was having a little trouble sleeping, so I thought I'd just go ahead and get up and record my word for Wednesday. I think part of the reason I was awake is the realization that, oh yes, it is my day to do this. And so as I lay in bed thinking about what I could bring to you, um, I just decided I would get up. And the scripture that came to mind was from John, the light shone in the darkness and the darkness did not overcome it. And I think there's something telling about my desire to do this in the dark when it is dark out and yet I needed a little bit of light. It's been a dark year. We're in the week that's a basically the anniversary of the shutdown due to the pandemic and that's been it's been hard it's been a dark year yet the light has never been overcome god has been with us throughout this time throughout this time when we've had to be separated not only from our church family but our family and our friends both near and far I am grateful, however, for the technology that has allowed us to stay connected, even though we haven't yet all been able to get back together. But that time is coming, and I am so grateful for that, knowing that we are beginning to see a lot of hope as we get vaccinated. And even though we still have precautions to take, there is light. The darkness has not overcome it. The darkness will not overcome it. And I will say I'm grateful for everyone who has supported not only your church staff, but each other. This is a time when the community has really rallied to help our neighbors with our food pantry, with our new Gloves for Love and our projects with the Housing Authority and other partnerships with Room at the Inn that actually ends today uh, for this season. And we've had a wonderful ability to do that safely and I'm grateful for Ryder and all of those who have helped make that possible. God is hope. God has been with us. God is faithful and I am grateful for you and I'm grateful for the light that has not been overcome and will never be overcome by the darkness. Yes, we still have some time to go on this pandemic but there again is hope as we get vaccinated and as people continue to take good precautions we will be together and i look forward to the time when you are you come back and we are able to hug and greet each other as we have been so used to but until then know that you are loved and that god loves you and that god is with us